Okay, next I'm going to show you some of the applications that are on the phone. To go there, you go to menu, go to games and apps, and as you can see, there's uh, you can shop for games, shop for applications using AT&T MediaNet, uh, tumbling dice. It's just a uh, dice program using the accelerometer you shake. And it, the dice roll and the uh, haptic feedback vibrates as the dice roll. There's also uh, the ones that came with it, AT&T Navigator. You have to pay for that. This phone does have GPS. Uh, we'll talk about more more about that later. Make your tones. I don't really use that. I use uh I make my tones on my computer, my ringtones. Media Mall 2.0. It's just trying to get you to buy more stuff. Mobile banking. Uh, I don't use that. Mobile email. Uh, you saw it before with the uh, AOL, Windows Live, and Yahoo Mail. Mobi TV. Uh, paid subscription. Uh, I don't use it. I don't have it. Music ID. They also charge you for that, but it comes with a free, free trial. Weather. Uh, I don't really use that. Where. I think they charge you for that. It's a uh, it's a GPS app. XM Radio. They charge you for that. And Yellow Pages. Which uh, Yellow Pages uses the internal GPS. So you can get local uh, listings fast. Show you some of the third party apps I installed. Uh, Opera Mini. Uh, Google Maps. Uh, and some games. Need for Speed. Solitary. Uh, Brick Breaker. Tetris. Touchscreen Tetris. Let me show you. Uh, Amaze GPS is a good program. I also have Google Maps. So let me show you Google Maps. This was not the uh, touchscreen version. I don't believe they have one. So this is Google Maps, just a regular uh, Java app for cell phones. As you can see, you can just move around. The 3G, you get the map information fast. So there's not not, not much waiting. You have to use these as buttons like on a regular cell phone exit out yes go back to the home screen uh, when you want to multitask press the side button multitask button right there brings up the box with the applications you can uh, let's say you want to go to your music player go there then you uh, hit play you can go to the next track. Turn it up. So yeah. Or so you were listening to music and you wanted to look up something on the internet, you would just press the side multitask button again and uh, go to media net. And the music uh, does play in the background. And you have, uh, you can go to your site. Say you want to go to Google. And Solomon automatically changes. To go back to your music player, you press the multitask button. Press mu music player. You could also. Open the app up, go to games and apps. So you wanted to uh you wanted to uh play solitary. The music is still playing in the background as your game starts. And let's say uh you want to end all things you could press the multitask button again and you see solitaire is up there now as because it's open app 
just go down and hit end all it will hang up your call it will end your music it will end all open applications and take you back to the home screen uh, uh, this is pretty much it uh, you have the my stuff you have audio games and apps pictures videos tools other files music and documents I added that myself uh, this phone it uh, does have an uh, SD uh, high SD high capacity a micro SD high capacity slot uh, I believe up to 16 gig gigabytes or 32 you could uh, add audio you know put the games and apps on there the pictures uh, videos the uh, videos on your phone uh, your screen is I believe 400 by uh, 240 but the highest resolution video you can play is uh, 320 by 240 I don't know why they did it but uh, they might fix it in a future update but you can't uh, make use of this beautiful screen uh, unless you uh, well you can't do it at all uh, this phone you can see the pictures the screen is beautiful these are all backgrounds uh, let's see show you some pictures of the, f the pictures that came with the phone you can uh, also you can use the accelerometer to switch orientation you can swipe to go through the pictures it's also cool that you can when you switch you can tilt the phone to switch pictures uh, it's a cool little feature using the accelerometer they're also uh, show you uh, videos as I said uh, this is a video I took with the phone no it's not no this is a video I took with the phone you can also full screen the video I mean yeah stretch it but I don't think that's good because it, it deteriorates the quality uh, the phone does shoot at 320 by 4, 4 uh, 240 even though there's a 3 megapixel camera this is the camera app uh, on the, if you want to change the video you hit the side go to video I mean camcorder there's also video share but that's uh, you have to pay for that Uh, you can go three megapixels. You can go two megapixel one, one point three megapixels, and three megapixel wide screen to fill up the whole screen. Or you can go four hundred by two forty to just take a picture that fills the screen. Uh, there you can change the settings. You can change the effects like uh, negative and speedier. Uh, exposure meter scene you can change it to uh, night view and t to take pictures of text you can change the quality settings uh, you can uh, timestamp with GPS you can review after you take it you can put the guidelines on there you can have a shutter sound and you can change where the uh, pictures are stored on the phone or on the memory card Uh, that's pretty much it. This is the uh, Samsung Impression from AT&T. Uh, this is my review. Hope you like it. And uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.